Good morning and welcome to another daily vlog but today's daily vlog as you will already know from the title and the thumbnail is going to be a very special one because today Charlie and I are adding to our little family and we're getting a new puppy so um, I'm feeling kind of nervous excited butterflies deja vu because I also vlogged the day that we picked up little Dexter and um, yeah today's vlog is probably going to be quite similar I'll leave that one linked down below in case you want to see that and maybe compare how much things have changed vlog wise since then also take note of my teeth because when I watch that back all I can see is how bad my teeth are Anyway, so uh, yeah, it's Saturday today. We are having to keep everything kind of under wraps because actually we haven't told any of our family or friends, bar a couple of close friends, that we're getting a new puppy. So tomorrow's vlog is gonna be really exciting because we're going to be introducing him and like surprising everybody with him. So we're getting a new long hair miniature Daxi, just the same as Dex, from a different breeder. And um, he's all the way up in Leeds. So we're gonna be driving for three and a half hours later but it's gonna be worth it when we get there and meet our little chap. Uh, but first of all today, I am going to the Lumiere studio or Lumiere London to do a little talk with Manfrotto, which is a brand that have um, photography equipment. I'm doing a talk on how to build a successful YouTube channel. So I'm gonna head there first and then We'll be in the car heading up to Leeds and I'll show you what we're taking in our doggy bag because I showed you that last time as well but I feel like this time we're a little bit more prepared, we know a bit more so I'll show you what we're taking with us to collect the new puppy and just a few learnings basically from last time but for now it's time to head to the masterclass and I'll see you a little bit later. hours later just got home from the masterclass and it went so well I don't think I vlogged very much at all there it was all a little bit manic um, but some of the lovely girls and guys that attended took some photos so I'll put some photos on the screen now so you can see what it was like the really cool space um, in Southwark and a really kind of intimate <laughs> workshop and I just gave a few tips on YouTube and like little tips and tricks on how to grow your channel and I think everybody found it really useful then at the end we did like a Q&A and I learned so much so many tips that I hadn't even heard about before and I think I might do a whole video on the tips that I gave and the tips that I learned so definitely let me know if um, that's something you might be interested in so I've just got home got changed into my puppy collecting outfit something really comfy and cozy and we're about to head out I'm just making myself some super noodles I'm gonna eat in the car it's a three and a half hour drive when we're in the car I will show you um, what's in the doggy bag but yeah so we're heading up to Leeds and not looking forward to the long car journey I got car sick just in the uber back coming back from the masterclass um, but yeah it's gonna be worth it so let's go. Before I go, can we just appreciate these flowers? So Charlie got me these for our five year anniversary and now they are all blooming and they just look absolutely stunning. So, so beautiful. This one's had better days, oops. Okay, we are successfully on route. I have polished off my super noodles and my yogurt, much to Charlie's disgust. Why are you eating super noodles? <laughs> I got told so off. I had smoked salmon, scrambled eggs, and spinach after a really good gym session. Yeah, well, you could have made and me some. And Josie garlic. had MSG full super noodles. Oopsie! I was just thinking as we crossed um, what bridge was that? Chelsea Bridge. This is major deja vu to when we went and picked up Dexter. We didn't have this car then. This is actually Charlie's like sibling car. Um, but we rented a zip car last time. And when we were crossing that bridge, we both, we had the radio on and Justin Bieber, What Do You Mean? was like the song of the moment. Oh, yeah. But it was one of the first times I'd ever heard it. And you know, it's got that like, thump, thump, thump. we thought it was the car indicated going off the whole time. Do you remember? Was it Justin Bieber? What Do You yeah. Mean? Or was it one of his other ones? No, it was What Do You Mean? Cause it's got that like, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we thought it was the cut indicator. So I had major deja vu. Had um, but I feel like this video is going to be the exact same as that video yeah. when we're on a motorway. Just a bit older. Um, yeah, we're older. We look, we look more wrinkly. By the way, Dexter is at my mum's house in case you're wondering where he is. Our family do not know that we're getting another puppy. I'm so excited to see everyone's reactions tomorrow. Um, but and yeah. His, I'm particularly and excited Dexter's. to see his reaction. Oh my goodness. I think he will really love. No, I haven't told the name yet. I'm gonna beep that out. All right, but he will really love the new chap. The new little chap. And then after a few hours, he'll be like, right, I'm ready to go home. And then he'll be like, why is this little chap in my car? Yeah, he's gonna be, and like, be like, I'm bored of you, you I can don't, go now. You're not coming to my house. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then I think when we get home, it might kick off. But. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully they're best of friends. Um, but yeah, it's saying that we've got three hours and 41 minutes in the car. Uh, think, so that means we're gonna get there about half six. I think that's why the breeders knew that we were committed because he was like You haven't even asked me where I live and I go. I don't really like care where you live. We're coming to pick yeah. you up. Yeah They were like we live in Leeds and I was like oh, that's all right. Oh. Nice casual eight hour round trip. Oh but. my goodness It'll be worth it. So these breeders by the way There is a very small chance that we could leave empty-handed because these breeders um have actually had a couple of people come and visit this dog already and they've not let them take him because they're so precious as to who he goes to which i really like that makes yes. me really happy well, what's nice is they're sort of like it should be their it's their hobby to yeah. breed, breed dogs not not uh not for business purposes yeah you don't ever want to go somewhere and hear that they breed the bitches like every time they come into season because that is so <laughs> bad for the dog so I think it's if you're looking to get a sausage dog, just be so so any careful. Dog. Any dog ever. Do your research. Do your research. Make sure that they're like kennel club registered. Make sure that they are in it for the love and passion and not for the money because there is nothing worse than finding out it's like a puppy farm or something really upsetting. I think also but. the nice thing is both times we've gone to pick up a puppy, there's it's been a case of we're picking that puppy up. Yeah. Because I, I think a lot of people have the. It's nothing against people that do it, but. Personally, I could never do that whole, let's go see some puppies and, and then you choose one. Oh my God, I could not no, do I'm that. No, I'm not for that. Yeah, luckily when we went to get Dexter, he was the last one left, <laughs> the little. And he was the most energetic, <laughs> yeah. wasn't he? So he, like, we didn't have to make a choice. Um, and this time, the little boy that we're picking up now is the only one in the litter. So... I think that's the case, right? I think he's yeah. the only one. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'll catch up with you guys shortly when we're on a motorway. So it's not like stopping and starting. And I'll show you what's in our doggy bag. <laughs>
water um, flask so we can fill it up with water when we stop.
markings. I cannot wait to show you properly when we get home. But, oh, just so full of love for this little chap. Look at him. Um, taking little Dickens away from his mummy but we were assuring her that he's going to the most loving home and excited to introduce him to Dexter tomorrow so we're gonna join the M1 now for another 150 miles so I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later because I've got some kissing to do <laughs> Burger King to keep us fueled for the rest of the journey home. We've got, what do you think, another two hours left to go? Two hours, yeah. Two yeah, hours left. Sure. Also got some snacks, got an aero and some fruit Mentos. What did you get Dickens? Dickson? Dickens is not Dickens. a Dickens. Dickster, I just Dickster. combined their names. Dickens. So Dickens is in his little carry case. I think he's quite comfortable there. I put the blanket in there that smells of his mummy. Yeah. So he seems quite calm. Don't you my little Chapinski? So hopefully, both Dickens and I are going to have a little nap now for the rest of the journey home. I'm going to finish off my sweeties. Lucky you. Yeah. And you've got to stay awake and keep driving. So hopefully, next time I see you, we'll be at home. Dicky together my best pals welcome to your new house little dicky welcome to your new house dickens i'm confused Where are all my brothers and sisters? <laughs> oh, he's so handsome. I don't know he's got a bit of muscle on him though. Oh, he's a very big boy. <laughs> I think so much already. Back home again, finally. It is just after midnight. 
Where's my little boy? There you are. So Dickens has just christened the lawn, let's say. Um, and now he is just sniffing around the house, probably picking up lots of little Dexter smells. Um, but yeah, it's past our bedtime. So I'm gonna say goodnight, carry on playing with my little boy for a few more minutes, and then I think we're all gonna head to bed. So I'm gonna end this vlog here, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you think I am the proud mummy to the most handsome boy in the world. And make sure to check out tomorrow's vlog because we'll be introducing Dickens to Dexter and surprising all our family with him. So that should be a really fun one. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. Say goodnight, Dickie Bow. Say goodnight, little boy. Right.